cake Okay, this ain't what you used to Always with the new, this ain't what you used to I do me, do you, I do me Here we go, my crew, the TJ's in there Oh, phew. Sorry mate, can't stop Where you go? Oi! No brakes Ah, oh, TJ's, come back, you gonna give us a hand with the Luxy, mate? No, sorry mate, no go, no brakes Can't stop No, okay, no worries, see you later Oh, TJ, come around for smoke, oh, mate. Help me do some babysit. Oh. Sorry, can't stop. No brakes. No, no, oh, no brakes. No worries. No brakes. TJ, here to help us finally do that weeding. Oh, mate, can't. Might have to reschedule. No brakes. That's it. I've had enough of this. No more excuses. I'm fixing these bloody brakes so that TJ can come give me a hand. Bendix, boys, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, Macca again, I know. Always having brake dramas. What do you got for the cruise? I need to upgrade it. Doing heaps of towing this year. All right, sick. Cheers, boys. Hey! Lucky it's got the anchor. No brakes. Good morning, YouTube. Shed's clean. Oh, I also cleaned the hoist. You need me bloody go barefoot on it. Have a go at that. Oh, it's nice. Clean down the hoist arms. Good old rotary lift. Why am I upgrading the brake? I'm gonna be doing heaps of towing this year. Thinking about maybe a camper for the family, possibly, but definitely in the drift car. So the drift car's got a lot of weight. It does have electric brakes, and most new trailers have electric brakes. Electric brakes can fail. If you've got a dodgy plug or anything like that, you're back to your car brake. That being said, that's why you wanna upgrade your brake. And wait till you see these things. Whew. So this is not just your normal brake upgrade, this is six pot race upgrade. Like, things should stop like a bloody GTR. Show you what it's coming with. Bigger drilled slotted rotors for the rear. Plenty of all new uh, brake lines. Four pot brakes for the rear. In the last episode I spoke about how the master cylinder pushes fluid out and into more cylinders. That's what they mean by pot, so there's four pots, so four cylinders here, push on the pads, which clamp the brake. Again, I'm no mechanic, but this is what I've learned over my years. Whew, France, the exciting part. Oh, that is six pot goodness. That's race car stuff right there. So that is, that is very exciting. Uh, we also have obviously larger front discs. We'll compare them when I get the old ones out. Stubby coolers, brake cleaner. <laughs> uh, brake fluid. Assembly grease, we got pads, they're massive pads. We got this, I don't know what this is yet, but I'm sure I'll find out in a little spanner thing. Obviously it comes with these cool boxes that I just showed you. More brake fluid. Wait, yes, of course, the main piece, which we learn about on TJ's Hilux, is the upgraded brake booster. So obviously, this is a big, big upgrade on a Land Cruiser, the stock boosters are just absolutely horrible. I also got to say big ups to Bendix for hooking us up with this kit because it's pretty exciting. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's really released to the public yet or not, but um, I'll check that out, but I'm pretty sure it is. If it is, I'll link it in the description. Also Superior sells all the Bendix gear. So Superior and Bendix and all that is where you need to go, but links in the description. All right, first things first, eh? Pull the wheels off. Can't get to the brakes with the wheels on. Pull the first one off and, uh, ew. So the front's a four pot and I believe the rear's a single pot. So we're changing to six pot with a larger diameter braking surface, I believe. Could be wrong, we'll check that. Four pot in the rear. Pretty solid lip on that. And looking at this, it's not really wearing very nice. It's heaps of grooves. That's probably from rocks and stuff getting stuck in the pads. And over on the back, look at this little guy. Ooh. A oh, huge lip on that as well, inside brake. So that's like a single piston brake. So we've got the four pot, four pot brakes for the rear. Even bigger dog, six pot brakes for the front. Race car brakes. So <laughs> it should pull this big bus up pretty good. Hi, Smurt. Hello. Say hi to the people. Hello, people. Meet everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so Smurt. Smurt's giving me a hand. Should also mention, Jay is uh, he's very much like myself. We aren't qualified mechanics. We have played with cars for a very, very long time and are very good at pulling things apart and figuring it out and putting it back together. <laughs> We've got the brake lines disconnected. They're just dripping. I wasn't, they weren't kidding when they said these are a lot bigger brake. It is like the size of the dust cover. Chat to the boys, you basically just flare that out around and everything fits hunky-dory. There's a little bit of manipulating, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Bendix have provided a template cutout. That is gonna go in there, give us our marks to cut out the big dog caliper. Ah, oh, sounds so good on the ears. Love it, lovely. Okay, so just time lapse this whole pull on the front apart. Um, yeah, and uh, I didn't hit the record button. What we've done basically, we've pulled the hub off. You've just seen me do all this stuff on TJ's. Your washer, your, your two nuts, and your bend over tabs. Then you got your front bearing, which we'll just leave in there. We'll pull the disc off. Back bearing still sitting in there. Whew, there we go. One disc apart. This is the old front calipers. This is the new one. It's a lot more surface area on the disc. Also, the disc is a heap bigger. So all that surface area on a larger disc, pushing, see, probably about 10, 15% bigger. All in all, it's gonna be a lot better, hopefully. <laughs> Will it fit? Ha <laughs> ha ha. Bloody beautifully. Ah, front one. Bonk. So the tab there and the tab there, just fold them out. Then your caliper fits. That is fantastic. And then we're gonna go bang the caliper on. But I've got new wheel bearings coming, so I'm gonna knock them in first. Okay, we got the bloody caliper on, brakes on, and I haven't got the pads in yet, so don't listen to that. <laughs> She spins, she clears, we're happy, we're good. 17s, cam C's, big pad, rear, everything all works. They work, we're gravy, we're gonna be stopping soon. Woohoo! What's your nickname now? It's gonna be Blister. Turns up when the hard work starts. <laughs> Matt's got a cool little grease packing tool. Uh, I'm about to get schooled on it. Bearing grease packer, which is a lot easier than how I was doing it on TJ's. And you just give it a once over on the outside. We don't want to contaminate the pads. We also don't want grease on our brakes. I thought you had the grease brake. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, love that. Factory bolts. Oh, lovely. Good morning, people. Um, so we're back for round two of Operation Big Brakes. I had to wait for some wheel bearings. So got some new wheel bearings in the front. I did notice something uh, a couple of boys brought to my attention uh, online, which silly me. I've actually put these calipers in upside down. So as you can see, the uh, nipples are at the bottom, the bleed nipples. They uh, should be at the top. There's one on each side. Gonna flip them around this morning. That one obviously goes on the other side, this one goes on this side, and we'll get that sorted. Okay, so all this brings me to my next point. It needs to have a mod plate. Queensland and WA is an LG1 modification plate. Northern Territory just needs to be inspected by the MVR thing. But the rest of the states, I believe, have to have some sort of sign off as well. Keep that in mind, because this isn't just a replacement like for like. This is an upgrade. This is a big brake modification. It's, it should be done by a mechanic, doesn't have to be, but it will be signed off by an engineer anyway. So it will be inspected. It's definitely worth paying the mechanics to do this one. Unless you're me, because it's kind of my job to mod my car. I like it, it's fun. <laughs> Got the bleed nipples to the top, not the bottom. As you can see, there are two on these calipers. 
So I need to bleed both and make sure I have no air in the lines absolutely anywhere. Thanks to the boys on Instagram who let me know uh, that the rears were upside down. It's, uh, it's just awesome to see that guys will help each other instead of bloody just flaming each other with keyboard warriors and going, oh, Maka did this wrong, or this person did that wrong, or they suck, or, you know, getting better and everyone's helping each other because that's the only way forward for everyone, I reckon. So, cheers, boys. My engine bay is far from stock, obviously. I've got a front man in the cooler and a few other things have changed. But the booster, booster and all that's all factories. It is upgraded by Superior when they do the SSM kit. But we're going bigger and better again. Quite funny, I uh, just found the last bit of Sandy Tall. Let's get the new guy in. First things first, we've got the old booster and the new booster. Way different in size. Tape measure, stick thingy. Uh, and we're gonna measure from the firewall mount of the old one. Whichever point you want on the part that bolts to the brake. Uh, I'm gonna go to this flat section and then we're gonna set it exactly the same on this one. And it's also gonna tell you if you need this spacer or not. Also don't forget, it comes with fresh gaskets. <laughs> sort of bled them up and had them all right, but I didn't adjust the master cylinder properly. So we've got the experts here. Justin from Sunshine Cars Braking Clutch, also known as Get Mac out of the brake shit all of the time. My brake pedal was kind of falling away when the car was on. Justin's like, generally that's air. So he come around to help me bleed them and we got a little bit of air out, but not heaps. Guy Bendix a call, said, uh, have you got any ideas? They said Toyota ABS. Okay, you gotta bleed the ABS unit using a computer like a snap-on tool. That is one reason why this is probably better suited to a mechanics workshop, unless you have yourself one of these or could get access to one. I'm just following the prompts to tell me what to do and it should get the rest of the air out and we'll be all gravy. Ah, uh, so you would've heard that ABS pump going and pushing fluid out, so I don't know, hopefully it fixes our problem. Woo! Oh yeah, she stops now, mate! It stopped Woo. quicker than I thought. We could do another round. Alright, we'll go again. <laughs> Definitely stops, holy heck. <laughs> she stops now. Very extreme modification, very extreme kit definitely suited for towing because it's going to stop that brake fade because it's not going to get hot as quick. She's a, she's a serious upgrade. There's obviously a lot of other things you can do to make it better like without doing the whole hog. You can just upgrade your rears or just your booster is your biggest upgrade. That is That makes a huge difference. It's good. Bendix. Nailed it. <laughs> ah. Oh, you stopped this time! <laughs> I have to do some work now, do I? <laughs> it's uh, definitely stops quicker than my vehicle does. <laughs> oh, so probably a little less weight than your car, but... Well, that's a good point. My car probably weighs more than this. It yeah, might stops good, but that that's on another level. <laughs> <laughs> Worked it out, TJ. <laughs> what this thing's for. Like, this doesn't look like any kind of brake part. The box it comes in is an Esky. And it's the drain hole! Wow, it was worth watching till the end just for that. Oh, I know, I know. Thanks for staying to the end, just to figure it out. How many comments are there already of, it's an esky. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of effort for some packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Loading, loading, strap of the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling. Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. No one listen, but I told him, told him one more time. Your favorite MC's bronze or silver. These raps here are golden, golden cards on the table.